Hey, this is Flo, and in this video I'm showing you how to programmatically scroll using Swift UI. So let's assume we have a setup like the following. We have a scroll view, and inside of that scroll view, you have some other views, obviously, that can be scrolled through, vertically in this case. As a placeholder, I just created blue rectangles and put an overlay of their index here so we can easily see which one is currently displayed, and if we play the canvas and you can see yeah, we can scroll here and it goes from 0 to 20 basically. Okay now we want to add a button to scroll to the element number 10 and at the bottom of the list we also want to add a button to scroll back to the top. How can we do that? I will show you right now. We can use the command click option here on the for each and say embed and then let's create a scroll view reader here. The scroll view reader closure takes a proxy in, a scroll view proxy. And using this proxy, we can let it scroll to a specified location. So at the top of the list here, or of the scroll view, let's add a button and call it scroll to number 10. And then in the closure here, we can just say proxy dot scroll to 10. Now this 10 here is the identifier of the view that should be shown to the user. So in order to actually show the correct view, we need to add identifiers to all of our content. To do that, I will just add the ID modifier to the rectangle and pass in our index as the ID. So if you remember, the index is basically the number that we can see here. Okay, if we hit play now, then the scrolling will already work, so let's tap it. Okay, it scrolled so that 10 is visible on the screen. That's not exactly the behavior that we want. So first of all, let's go back and delete that here and have a look at the second overload where we can pass in an anchor. So first of all, our ID is still the same, 10. And then as an anchor, we can now specify a point on the screen. And for this example, I will just say top, so I want uh, scroll view to scroll so the 10th rectangle is displayed at the top. Let's have a look at that. Scroll to 10. Okay, that looks good. But it doesn't really animate, right? So let's hit it again. It just instantly goes there. Well, it's also easy to fix. We just have to wrap this call in a width animation closure like this. Now if we tap the button, it animates and actually scrolls to the right position. And now the second button that we wanted to do is down here, so button scroll to top. For this one we will do something very similar, we will say with animation proxy dot scroll to our item number zero with an anchor of bottom and let's see what happens here. So we want to scroll up so that the rectangle number zero is at the bottom of the screen. So basically that means scroll as high as you can. So let's go back down, hit the button, and it does just that. All right, this is it. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.